So we have something that looks like a profile page, but um, we can improve it. By that I mean we need it responsive, yes? So if I go to the responsive view here, and uh, let me bring that in, you'll notice that uh, it does not respond. I want this to come down here, and luckily uh, Bootstrap offers a way to do that. So if we come here, remember that I told it that this column should be eight, this one should be four, which is good. But I think uh, in the full mode here, this is a little too big, this section here. So let's reduce it. Let's see how far we can go. Let's put 10 and two there and see what happens. Okay, a little bit too close. So let's do nine and three, okay to add up to 12. Okay, that looks much, much better. But again, if I zoom in, like uh, if I squeeze it, you see that it does not respond, but that's okay. All we have to do is tell it that this should only be on the small section. So let's do, oh, I don't know why that is happening. SM like that, and then let's put another SM in between like so. Okay, so if I now refresh, and I try to squeeze this in, you see what happens there, that's much better. Okay, so boom, responsive. But then there's this point where it squeezes too much, so maybe what we can do is add a medium. I'll do this, move this, and let's add a medium which is MD, MD, uh, let's put four over here and eight there. Okay, let's see how well that that works. It doesn't seem to be working at all. Okay, so it's doing the opposite of what I want, right? So I think at this point, it should be this small that is working. So let's swap these two. Like I told you, I'm not very good at this. So bear with me while we move around okay there we go that's much better okay pretty good there there's a breakpoint here you can see it it snaps there it snaps it made it bigger and then finally it snaps here okay so goody goody things are working as planned we can adjust things as we go if they don't look good or if you are better at um, bootstrap please go ahead and design it better for yourself because I'm terrible at this. My job is PHP, yeah? So down here, what I want to do is add a somewhere where we can add some content. So if I go to Bootstrap again, and we go to Navs, there's this one, not Navbar, but Navs. These are these navigators here where you can add several pages on one page. They're quite good. I kind of like the ones that have this outline here, like this one right here. I like that one. Uh, maybe we can add this one that has a blue thingy. I'm not sure. Mm. No, my personal favorite are these. This one right here. I kind of like this. So just, just click copy here because we are copiers and pasters. So down here where I have this div, uh, let me just add a class and just call it um, container fluid. Yeah, I just love container fluid. Let's paste that in there and let's move it out like so. Uh -huh. So if we come back now and refresh, we have this nice thingy down here. Uh -huh. But before that, let's add a horizontal rule here just to demarcate the two. Okay, at least we have something like this. So our profile and that. And also let's add a user's name here. That'll make it look much better just under the image here. Even though we have the first name here, eh, who cares? Let's put H3 there and just uh, Mary, Mary. Piri, that's how it's uh, pronounced. Refresh, and there we go. We have something there that is good. But let's add a class and say 
text center like so okay much much better so we have that name there even though we have it here but it looks more like a profile thingy now you could remove this hr tag because i was adding it there because there wasn't enough space between the two no but i think it's much better with it or if you want you can just add a break tag if you don't like that line so that there's just a bit of space between the two okay so now here we're going to have uh stuff that we can put here so for example we can have basic info basic info so we'll have some info here for example where the student lives etc etc uh, whatever basic info you want to add and then the uh, student will need to know what classes they belong to so so maybe we don't need that there but what we can do is we can have a list of all classes here and here we just have the list of classes that this one belongs to or we can have all classes here and we can have if this is a teacher the, those will be the classes the teacher teaches and then tests here will be for all the tests that we are designed by that teacher or the tests that are being taken by that student the admin will have none of these so basic info classes tests let's put an s there yes yes very good so yeah basic info nice here we forgot one piece of item here and that's the date created yeah so this will be the date uh that's the profile when the profile is created not the human being you may want to add date of birth as well so maybe we can add that to the student but that could be the basic info section here so date and we'll put uh 2021 zero eight uh zero whatever the date is i think it's zero four but uh hey okay so one more piece of information basic classes tests okay so i think this will qualify as a basic profile for now we have yeah i think this will do so we can stop here with the designing i think we have enough information to actually start dealing with the database okay so in the next video let's deal with databases shall we oh but before we go let's add one more thing here so if i go back to the nav bar not the navs but the nav bar there's this uh, nav bar that has a um a search here i don't like this one i like this one i kind of like this one yes so i'm going to copy this nav here i will just click copy here let's come to our profile view right under one of these uh, these are the navs here so right underneath i will paste this nav here so let me move this content a bit like so okay good good so let's see how that looks like and refresh and you see it right there very nice so we're going to be using this to search for information that's down here. So let's say there are plenty of classes. You might need to search for a specific one. If there are plenty of tests, you may want to search for a specific test. We may not use this for basic information because it's going to be basic information, right? But I want to add my first font awesome um, uh, icon here, yeah? So let's go where this is the at there. Let's put an i tag instead. So i tag, let's put a class name there and let's say fa space fa dash search. Okay. So if I come back here, you see there's a search thingy there. So like I said, if you don't know the name of the icon, just go to font awesome here, uh, click on free, type your search there so for example if you want something for a search bar like this it should actually uh, just by typing you don't need to press enter 
but my internet as usual is extremely slow so yeah forget about that so now it doesn't fit this area here so what we need to do is add some text here when we do add some text here it does fit like that so let's add some empty text so we're going to use the and non-breakable space like that so refresh and there we go that's good enough for me and we'll change what it says in here it says username but let's change that to search yes search there as well uh -huh. okay search there we go nicey nice then finally let's make sure these guys are clickable especially the dashboard and profile here since those are actual pages so log out uh, maybe we may need the uh, sign up no we don't need that we're going to need the users link as well here so that might be students or users let me go back here to the nav for a second and right here after tests let me add one more uh maybe too close to user right let me add it here so i'll say users uh -huh. now dashboard should lead to the dashboard so here i'm going to put root like that and then uh, from root we say i think that's about it it's just root we can put a slash at the end or just like that and then i'll copy this put it on the profile right here and then say slash profile okay all these can be the same here uh, boom just that is enough here we'll have the logout and we can do the same thing here and put tests same thing for classes and same thing for users so that as they become available we can click to go to them so for example if i click on dashboard i'm here if i click on profile i'm here and what else uh, dashboard back there these others are not working yet okay so this is pretty good at least for now things are looking up Okay, so we begin with the database in the next video.